life is a bed of roses. Now hopefully I smell like one too. showers and clean clothes and everything, I'd be lost. After my shower, I feel much better about myself. I feel amazing. The shower was nice and warm and um, gives you more energy, you feel more confident about yourself. I think that it's a good idea. I think it's a good cause to help people in need. It's something that's really, really needed in Butte County and especially in Oroville. It provides people with uh, some basic necessities um, that many of us take for granted. We want to welcome you here to my church, the number one church of God in Christ in the city of South Orville. Welcome. We're excited to have uh, an opportunity to offer the Haven of Hope hygiene trailer to those uh, less fortunate or those that might be displaced or uh, be unhoused and unsheltered, not in a position to uh, take a shower or wash a load of clothes. I don't believe that individuals should have to call 911 and have the first responders come and pick them up and take them to the hospital just so they can get a shower and a hot meal. Okay, we're at the Hope Center offering services for our Haven of Hope on Wheels Hygiene Trailer. And our normal protocol and procedure is when we show up at the facility we normally have our staff uh, come out, they set up. As you can see, they just simply, this is the washer and dryer room. This is where we offer our laundry services. Uh, they take that, they actually uh, bring down the, the stairs, you know, and we come in, we make sure that everything is clean and, and it's uh, uh, available and all the apparatus are in place and the water is working. It's hot water and cold water. Windows and mirrors are clean, the pedestal sink. We have a toilet available in the shower. We make sure that there's soap and shampoo for uh, every client in the shower. And after each use, uh, we come in with our staff and we clean it from top to bottom. So we never shower back to back without a thorough clean for obvious reasons. And we also have an intake process. A table would be set up outside, and each client that we offer services to, they will give us their pertinent information, and we ask them if they want to do laundry while they're showering. Many do. My name is Vanessa. I'm 37 years old. I'm the mother of five children. I'm from Orville, California, and my circumstances, I was living with a boyfriend, and we kind of separated, yeah. and so... I had a drug problem <clears throat> and I got um, kicked out of there and I went to different programs and at the time I wasn't ready to be off of drugs and um, so I have been kicked out of quite a few um, like SLEs and rehabs and um, but currently right now I'm uh, clean and sober and I'm um, just kind of just living on the streets because I can't go home with my family um, 
they do have my children other than my two oldest ones which are adults and they work and live on their own and uh, doing well for themselves. Um. Uh, my name is John Gehring. Um, I live here in Orville. I'm, on, I'm homeless. I was staying at the mission, the Orville Rescue Mission, but now I'm staying on the streets. I live on the streets here. Um, I'm homeless because of mental illness. I have severe depression and anxiety. It keeps me from keeping a job. So, but I'm getting help. I go to the doctor, I get medication. So I'm working on that, trying to get a job. Right now, I hope to eventually get out of this rut. I hope to either go back to school or find employment somehow. And I don't want to be like stuck solely on assistance from the government my whole entire life. I like to do something with myself. I would like to do something that helps people, maybe like with the Hope Center or something that helps the homeless or something like that that I could do to help people or maybe mentally ill people, maybe counseling, something like that where I can help people and get an income too so I can have a house. I was making my rounds on my job down at the River Bend Park. I had an opportunity to see this lady climbing up the embankment under the bridge to the 162 highway. That night, I went over to Walmart store and I'd done all the shopping that I was going to do. And when I got to the checkout stand, who was my cashier? But this young lady that was coming out of the River Bend dog park clamming up the embankment in her uniform to go to work at Walmart. And that showed me there, here it is, a young lady that's not under the influence of alcohol nor drugs, but she was going to work every day and she was coming home and she was living in the park. She was, had no shelter for whatever reason, we don't know. But that woman actually changed my life. We want to present you with the pink slip and the keys to your truck. From here going forward, I don't ever want to have an excuse for why I can't be a service to our community. My name is Chuck Reynolds. I'm the mayor of Oroville, California, and I'm here to support the Haven of Hope on wheels uh, because I think that it's a good idea. I think it's a, a good cause to help people in need. Uh, just a just uh, general clean, cleanliness and, and uh, hygiene is it's just really important for people's self-esteem and I think that Pastor Kevin here has had a good idea with it and uh, I'm happy to see him moving forward. So we started our project in July of this year 2019 and we launched at Open Door Church uh, which is a local church here in Oroville and so far we've served over a hundred individuals so we're really excited about that we do serve two days per week but our goal eventually is to have a second third and more than that as far as the units because we do understand there's a great need not just here within the city of Oroville but within other cities and regions um, uh, within our, our area with this idea for the hygiene trailer unit it's nothing new. They're doing it in other areas. I just so happen to be friends with one of the greatest, most compassionate men that you ever want to meet down in the Silicon Valley. And he has five of these units. And over the last two years, we began to discuss the possibility of bringing one to our region here in Butte County. And so we've done lots of visits down to his place. We went out and we were trained in how to run and operate one of these units. So after almost two years, our opportunity came. So we were able to purchase ours, the first one. And I guess as the wheels begin to turn, it's history from here forward. So we're excited that we can be counted in the number as being one to have one of these units available. I think it's incredible that Kevin and certainly the congregation was inspired to this vision of trying to reach out to the homeless population. I am supportive of that. Uh, any program that uh, helps people uh, move from homelessness uh, onto um, uh, 
a better life where you know they're able to uh, get into a home, uh, you know, get jobs, uh, become um, you know part of the mainstream of society. I think is a positive thing. And one of the things I like best about Kevin's program, especially with regard to the trailer, is the fact that it provides people with some basic necessities that many of us take for granted. If you're in a position where you don't have that, where you can't take a shower, where you don't have clean clothes, it makes it very difficult, I think, to go out and you know, interact with prospective employers or to uh, seek uh, housing. And so I think providing for this just basic necessity, this this quality of life, this, this um, uh, human dignity that many of us take for granted is a positive thing. The shower gives you more energy, you feel more confident about yourself, um, you know that you don't smell bad or something like that, and you're able to go contact, you know, somebody if you needed to go get help and not worry about, you know, like, say a job interview or something like that while you're homeless. It's a really good thing to have. People tell me I don't look like the basic homeless person, but, well, that's because of the this, though, with the showering and the laundry that the Haven of Hope provided twice a week, that helps. I'm able to keep clean clothes, and I'm able to have good hygiene, keep myself clean. I think a lot of people, they give up when they're on the streets, and that's why they become really, you know, they let themselves go with the hygiene, you know. But I'm not giving up. I don't want to give up. I am a big, big supporter of the Haven of Hope on Wheels and Pastor Kevin Thompson. And it's... Uh, it's probably the highlight for me of my time on the council that in September 2018, we were able to pass the, um, the resolution uh, giving them $175,000 of leftover RDA grant money. And the campfire crisis has had a big impact on housing in all of Butte County. And uh, we noticed an increase here in Oroville and Chico in homeless individuals. And according to Jennifer Griggs, the coordinator for the Continuum of Care for Butte County, homelessness in Butte County increased 16% over the last two years. Now, some people think these are all men and uh, they're people who are all on drugs, and these are absolute fallacies. It is not true. We know that there are a great many homeless families and up to 1,600 youth in Butte County that go to school are homeless. So we're talking not just men, but women and children who are homeless in Butte County. And we have to do something. This is not an issue of um, enabling people. It is an issue of giving them a hand up and helping them. And so I see it as a humanitarian issue. About Haven of Hope. Okay. How'd you feel? Great, great. I tell you, if it wasn't for what for Haven of Hope, I don't know where I would be right now because, you know, I'm homeless right now anyway. So without this Haven of Hope, it showers and clean clothes and everything, I'd be lost. I really would be lost because, you know, I've never been homeless in my life until this time. And now I'm, I'm starting to feel the effects of how it is to be homeless, you know, and I don't like it at all. A Christian is able to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. We're just hoping and praying that other individuals will come alongside of us and those with the means will step up and say, OK, you know, you need two of these. Here's two. Let's go shopping for them now. This is what we're looking for, sustainability. We're looking for the continued operational costs to make sure that the vision does not die. We're so thankful for the city, but also well wishes outside of our errors, a company out of uh, San Francisco. They also donated roughly $56,000 uh, for the ongoing operational costs. But I am most thankful about all the small contributors that have given $20, that have given $200, have given the smaller numbers. Uh, that shows me that it's not equal given, but it's equal sacrifice. And I'm sure it's a sacrifice to some, but they believe so much in our vision. And I want to thank this particular congregation 
you wouldn't believe it from the youngest to the eldest. They got behind my vision immediately. When they seen a need, some of them were homeless at one point in their life. And when I brought the vision back to this ministry before I took it anywhere else and say, hey, you know what, guys? You know, we have an opportunity to bring a shower unit with laundry facility to our community. Would you guys be willing to get behind this vision? And it was just a resounding yes. Please, by all means, if you want to join with us and help us in our endeavor, Come join us. We want to work with everyone. We want to work with those that have a heart for people. And I myself, I would love to make an appeal, not just to our government, but to our local cities and the surrounding cities. Um, get involved. You want to argue or fuss and complain about those that are out on the streets, but if you make a difference in their life, it, it, it makes a world of difference for your whole city. To rather have someone laying by the sidewalk and knowing that they're not smelling good, knowing that they're down and depressed, then begin to lift them up. Begin to get them over here to get a shower. Begin to give them something to eat. Begin to make a change in their life. Everybody needs a hand.